and welcome to today's video. Today I decided to film five easy ab exercises. <laughs> professional but fitness has been a huge part of my life and I have always loved exercise and fitness and played a lot of sport so I decided to share my ab exercises that I love and I love to do and have given me some sort of abs little bit it's half the time it's covered by belly rolls but who really cares sorry this dogs and noises I'm in the garden I normally do rotations of about three or four exercises and then repeat them over and over again in the circuit. So exercise one is crunches. So for crunches, you just wanna put your hands behind your neck and flare your elbows out and then engage your core, just like suck it in, feel like you're holding in your core as you're going up and down. And you just try not use your neck as that'll just be a neck exercise, not an ab exercise. And you just put your legs in a comfortable angle and just repeat this motion. Doing the number amount of reps depending on how stronger abs are for me i normally do 20 to 30 crunches and then followed by the next ab exercise just because it's a circuit for the second exercise you just can do a minute to two minute plank depending on how long you can hold for start with like 30 seconds in the beginning i started with that and then did it a couple times and then you're good to go but you just got to keep your back straight and flat and not stick your booty in there for crunches, just keep your back straight and flat and hold your arms out in front of you. I lock my thumbs and just hold it. So next, I'm going to be doing Russian twist. Um, at the gym, I normally use a 10 to 12 kilogram weight, but um, for home purposes, I only have a 5 kg. You can have a weight or you can just have nothing. You don't need really a weight if you don't want one. And you're just going to go from side to side. Cool. Just hook your feet together and twist. With these you'll get your balance but you just got to keep your feet off the floor as much as possible doesn't matter how high they are as you see here and just twist and try to touch the weight to the floor you want to do 15 of these on each side depending on how strong you are and for our last exercise is full sit-ups with full sit-ups you also want to put your hands behind your head and flex your arms and then also just keep your feet on the floor and you want to crunch all the way up you can put weights on your feet if it helps you to stabilize and just engage your core as i'm showing you and just try not use your neck as well and you want to do 20 of these depending it does get sore after a while so just see how you're going for our last one you're gonna do bicycles i find these hurt a lot more if you do them in combined with other exercises so you're literally going to stand touch your elbow to your opposite knee and go and then you can go faster or slower if you need to i find with these you've got to do a lot for it to be effective but you just want to keep your legs going up and down almost like you're doing high knees flat on the ground and keep your back flat try not to hurt your neck as well and you can do one leg at a time if you are not coordinated and you want to do like 50 of those i know i do a lot of them then you get your full ab workout in and you just want to repeat the circuit about three times for me, four times, depending on how much of a burn, if you've done anything before. I normally do abs at the end of my workouts, just for an extra thing, but if you want to do them individually, do more reps, more sets, whatever you want to do. But yeah, thank you so much for watching. Um, I hope you have a great day and enjoy this quick ab workout. Bye!